Being a good Samaritan, I think it's something most of us strive to do. But when a young woman from Pasadena, California, stopped to help someone in need, she had no idea she'd run into my most wanted fugitive of the year. Pasadena, California. It was October 27, 2006, and Heidi was saying goodbye to her father. She was headed home with a special friend, her new puppy named Audrey. I had only had her for about two weeks. She came into my life at a time when I needed to focus my attention on something other than what was just going on with me. And as Heidi headed home, she had no idea Manuel Penaloza was headed her way, leaving a wake of destruction behind him. There was a car right in the middle of the street, and I couldn't get my car around it from either side. But I noticed someone was climbing out of the driver's side of the seat, and he was struggling to get out of the window, and he seemed very disoriented. I think this is someone that's in trouble, and they need help. And at that point, I yelled to him, is everything OK? OK. He still didn't respond back to me. He seemed very disoriented. And I approached him. I just said to him at that point, I'm like, you know, dude, just chill out. Everything's going to be OK. I'm going to get you some help. And then he just slugged me out of the way with his elbow. He had this very crazed look in his eye, like he was hopped up on something. I reached from behind. I grabbed him from the back. Oh my God. He turned around, and he punched me in the jaw, knocking me to the ground, which it startled me because I'd never been hit like that. What are you doing? Get out of my car! I just grabbed the side of his head, and I just dug my nails in. I could hear Audrey barking and, and just frantic in the car. It was like she was trying to help me, but she knew to stay, so she didn't get out of the car. I didn't care about the car. It wasn't about the car. It was about saving her. Get out! He was trying to get the car into drive, and he was having a very hard time doing that. And I knew he was going to take off. Help me! At that point, he just gunned it. I could smell the tires burning, and I've got to find a way to hang on. And I just grabbed the steering wheel with one hand, grabbed the back of the headrest with the other. The door of the car was open, and so it was swinging back and forth. I didn't realize my foot was hanging out of the door. I felt nothing. He started swerving. got up to 50 or 60 miles an hour. And he tried to elbow me this way, trying to knock me out. The whole time, just hitting me right in here with his elbow. At that point, I couldn't hang on any longer. I wasn't aware of it at the time, but there was a car coming right at me. You OK? He was yelling at me, don't move, don't move. I'm calling 911. I just saw the back of my car go, and I just screamed, please don't kill my dog. <laughs> the driver would rush Heidi back to her parents' house and quickly disappear. Heidi was lucky to be alive. My face was split like a melon. I was bleeding from my mouth. I was bleeding from my arm. <laughs> While a friend waited with Heidi for an ambulance, the thought of never seeing her dog again was more painful to Heidi than her injuries. I just screamed at my dad, you know, he's, he's got Audrey, he's got her. I said, you've got to save her. You've got to find him. And he just peeled out and took off. Heidi's dad never found her Mustang, but police did the next day. And while Manuel Penaloza was long gone, guess who was still inside? Heidi's puppy, Audrey. Soon there would be a happy reunion. I was in a wheelchair, and they brought her, and my dad sat her on my lap, and I just hugged her. She got so excited, she peed <laughs> all over my lap, but I didn't care. I didn't care. She was alive, and that was all that mattered. 
I would describe Heidi's actions as, as being heroic. She's a strong woman. She fought for something that she believed in. As for Manuel Penaloza, well, when cops discovered his wrecked car, they found something unexpected inside. Two dead bodies shot execution style. Cops say is a violent member of an LA gang called the Drifters, and these two murders were gang related. He'd been driving through Pasadena looking for a place to dump the bodies when he came in contact with Heidi. The poor woman had no idea who she was up against. Manuel Pinalosa is considered a street soldier, which means he's out committing crimes that not only benefit his status within the gang, but crimes that benefit the strength of his gang overall. Cops say Penaloza is also known by his gang name, Lil Bad Boy. He speaks fluent English, but has a Spanish accent. He could be hiding out in the Los Angeles area, on the East Coast, or down in Mexico. Penaloza has several gang tattoos, including one on his chest that reads Drifters. If you've seen Manuel Penaloza, be careful and call us at 1-800-CRIME-TV.